Hi, this is Eileen Gonzalez of Life According to Me. One more time, and I hope you have patience with me because I'm actually sharing a lot of information with you. Let's go back to that um, resume. So I had mentioned in my prior video that you, you shouldn't be writing too much, right? You want to give us enough information to make us hungry so that we are interested in you. But you want to be able to go in there with talking points. So what I like to do is look at my resume, make sure that I can fill in the blanks. And those are my talking points. I'm not going to write a paragraph for myself so that I can remember, but I am going to go prepared with a piece of paper with questions that I'm going to ask them, but also with little pointers or pointing uh, or little notes that actually help me fill in those blanks and tell a story of when I was there. Of course, these stories include sometimes mistakes that I've made and how I recovered from that mistake and things that I've done that are great that actually added value to my tenure. So talking points are very important. Look through the resume. Remember what I said. Do not over uh, complicate things. Give us bullet points of what you did and make sure that the best parts are the ones that you're going to use during your conversation. Does this make sense? I hope it does. If you have any questions, post them underneath this video. But remember, always have talking points because at the end of the day, it has to be an open conversation. Take care.